Welcome back, everyone. So Manny Pacquiao versus Jordanis Ugas is now a thing of the past. And you know what? Ugas earned a decision over Pacquiao. So my first message here is to all the Spence naysayers that claim that Errol was faking an eye injury in order to avoid Pacquiao, that theory just went down the drain. Ugas is a good fighter, a very good fighter, but he's no Errol Spence. And Manny Pacquiao... The man with no excuses, who once said he had a sore shoulder against Floyd Mayweather, still took the fight and claimed after that he was bothered by a sore shoulder. Again, yesterday said in the press conference after the fight, I'm not making excuses, but my legs were cramping up. So you guys give him a pass on making excuses in his last two fights. But Spence, who shows up with a bandage dye and testimony from three different surgeons, that he had a detached retina, which is far more serious than little leg cramps, which reduces Manny Pacquiao's mobility to a certain extent, if you can believe it. I do, but I'm only giving you back some of your own medicine, the Spence naysayers, that is. So guys, count your blessings and count yourselves lucky that the opponent was your Dennis Yugas and not Errol Spence, because Manny Pacquiao probably would have got stopped last night. I'm tired of hearing this bullshit that Spence ran away and he didn't want to fight him and so on. Spence has a perfect record and is the top 147 pounder in the world. And guess what? You'll never see the fight because Pacquiao got retired by Ugas last night. His career is over. I look forward to seeing Ugas versus Spence and I will make a prediction from now that Spence will win that fight. Comment, like, subscribe and even the guys who don't like spence you're welcome to comment i'm just curious to see what you have to say if you show up